And as people flee the collapsing country, the question remains, where will refugees end up? Oregon has a long history of refugee resettling here. And as Art Edwards tells us, there are people here already prepared to help. The images from Afghanistan are startling. People forced to flee after the Taliban takeover of their country. It's just heartbreaking what's going on in Afghanistan. It's, uh, it's difficult to comprehend. Uh, it's just sad. Oregon State Senator Casey Jama and State Representative Con Pham wrote a letter this week to Governor Kate Brown urging her to offer Oregon as a safe haven for Afghan refugees. The governor responded by saying in part, Oregon will continue to be a welcoming and inclusive place for all who call our state home, including and especially our immigrant and refugee communities. Thousands of refugees from across the world already call Oregon home. The nonprofit Ecumenical Ministries of Oregon is one of the aid groups preparing for a large number of people resettling here. Really the work is uh, helping someone get their feet on the ground, feel welcome, and start the day-to-day -day efforts of working, going to school, and connecting to community. The Portland Refugee Support Group will help new refugees navigate living in a foreign country. Right now, they're running Camp Silla. That's Arabic for connection. It's for kids from all walks of life, giving them a chance to feel like they belong. Here at Camp Silla, you see these children being children. And it takes a little time. It takes a little coaxing. It takes a little effort sometimes, but it's worth it. Under usual circumstances, it is a 20-step process that can take years to gain refugee status. There's nothing usual about what's going on in Afghanistan right now. Many believe there's no better place for refugees than Oregon. I envision a state where Oregonians are volunteering to see how they can help um, and opening their homes if needed and, and just really trying to, to, to step up and, and show the hospitality that I know we, we hold. Art Edwards, KGW News.